Mark Rogers TV knocking out every Power 5 conference schedule for 2014. Let's talk some Georgia football. And for the second consecutive season, the Bulldogs open up with the Clemson Tigers in what should, again, be a very entertaining game. The Bulldogs went down at Clemson last season in a shootout between Taj Boyd and Aaron Murray. Todd Gurley had a huge game in that one. The Bulldogs looking for revenge between the hedges against the Clemson Tigers in what is another one of those SEC-ACC battles. We see it all over the map, and mostly those are played in November. Some great matchups there. And, of course, Clemson, at the end of their campaign, take on the South Carolina Gamecocks, their big rival within the Palmetto State. Okay, back to Georgia. They've got the open date after Clemson. Uh, then they take on South Carolina. So two toughies out of the gate, but they do have the open date in between the Tigers and the Gamecocks, but they do have to travel to Columbia to take on South Carolina. Then they step out of conference to take on Troy. Then comes the heart of the SEC schedule. So what I look at in particular in looking at the SEC schedules is, of course, everybody plays within their division. So you've got seven teams in the East and seven in the West. You've got six division foes, therefore, out of your eight games. Therefore, you play two non-division foes. The one is the crossover rival. So for Georgia, that's Auburn on November 15th. We know what happened in that game on the Plains last season. Actually, that game was played, yes, that game was played on the Plains last season at Auburn, uh, when the Tigers got the deflected pass late, and both those Georgia defenders, uh, ironically, have transferred uh, one to Louisville and one to Auburn. And we talked about that earlier on Mark Rogers TV. Let's get back to the schedule. After the South Carolina game, then again, September 20th, uh, they go out of conference and take on Troy. Then it's Tennessee, Vandy, Missouri, Arkansas. Okay, that brings up the other non-division foe. Last season, it was LSU at home, one of the toughest teams in the conference. This season, it's Arkansas. So Georgia catches a bit of a break. They've got to travel to Fayetteville, but they take on a team that did not win a game in the SEC, uh, the Hogs at 0-8, 3-9 overall. So that's pretty much the slate for Georgia in terms of what is different from 2013 to 2014. They've got Arkansas instead of LSU, and uh, they travel no, actually stay at home to take on the Auburn Tigers as well. So I would believe that South Carolina and Georgia are the favorites in the SEC Eastern Division. I like Georgia to come out of this schedule with no more than three losses. So I expect them to avenge the loss against Clemson. I give them about a 60% chance of winning that game against the Tigers at home. The tough games, of course, are going to be South Carolina, they got a tough one with Missouri. They've got to go on the road to take on the Tigers, but I believe Georgia's a better football team. Okay, they've got Florida and Jacksonville November 1st. They've got Auburn. So the games that they're going to be a decided underdog would be at South Carolina, probably a 4-7 to seven point underdog, and then the game at home against Auburn, unless they run the table at that point or maybe have one loss and take on an Auburn team with zero or one losses on November 15th. What I don't like about these SEC schedules, with the rivalries that they've established with the ACC, which are great, Georgia, Georgia Tech, Clemson, South Carolina, Louisville, Kentucky now, uh, Florida, Florida State in particular, they set up two non-conference games to set up the end of the season. So Georgia concludes SEC play with a game against Auburn on November 15th. So they don't play anyone outside, um, inside the division, the last three weeks of the season. Don't play anyone inside the conference the last two weeks of the season. They finish up with Charleston Southern and with Georgia Tech, a team that they defeated after falling behind 17-0 with Hudson Mason at quarterback. And that was uh, Mason's really coming out party, throwing for 300 yards and two touchdowns against the Yellow Jackets and winning 41-34 last season. So Hudson Mason and Georgia, we look to go 9-3 and or 10-2. and We will pinpoint the record a little bit later in the summer. So that's the 2014 Georgia schedule. Keep an eye on Clemson, of course, out of conference. That's the big one. And then they finish up with Georgia Tech. Those are the traditional rivalries, SEC versus ACC. And then, again, it's not LSU in 2013. In 2014, that non-division game is against Arkansas on the road. 
We'd love to hear what you have to say about the Georgia Bulldogs and trying to rebound from 8-5 and five to get back in the SEC championship game right here on Mark Rogers TV.